Good morning, Brandon. Good morning. How are you? Um, I'm doing well. Thank you for taking time. Talk about the new project, Sons of the Sea. It features producer Brendan O'Brien, right? Yes, that's correct. And um, many of you probably know Brendan from his uh, many um, musical achievements over the past like 20 years. He's had a lot to do with um, the way that we listen to music, really. But, you know, um, Incubus uh, has been very fortunate to have worked with him. Um, uh, he's been he's produced the past three Incubus records, and in that time we, had, you know, we had amazing experiences with him in the studio, but mostly just as a you know a producer and a friend. So when Incubus decided to take you know a bit of a break uh, a couple times over the past few years, Brendan and I started to you know conversate about the idea of uh, writing songs together just to see what would happen. And so Sons of the Sea really is uh, the culmination of those musings. We, we sat down and started writing music together last year and it went really well and it was fun and challenging and uh, all of the, the things that you want music writing to be. So him and I wrote this record together and so it's been a lot of fun. Now, why did you call it Sons of the Sea? I know you love to surf. Did that have something to do with it? Um, I think that's probably the most obvious, um, the influence in the name, you know, I think that there, yes, there's there's some of that element there. I obviously have a, a, a long, a lifelong relationship with uh, the sea, and um, it's been a very consistent muse in my life, and I feel very lucky to have grown up in and around the ocean. But I think maybe it was um, alluding a little bit more to... Um, the idea that this is something that is this new project is something that's born of uh, a process that is far greater than um, than can be described. So it's sorry to get a little abstract on you, but it is literally the child of something larger. So it is the, it is kind of literally the son of the sea, if that makes sense. That's kind of what I had in mind. Um, I had probably thirty or forty project titles on a piece of paper and most of them were kind of ridiculous and funny and uh, irreverent and then I kept going back to Sons of the Sea, Sons of the Sea. So when I finally shared uh, some of my project titles with, with Brendan, um, he kept going back to that one as well and then it just became obvious that that was what this was supposed to be called. Can you compare the sounds of uh, this new project, Sons of the Sea, to, to Incubus, the differences between the two? Yeah, yeah, you know, there's there's some obvious similarities. I think m most obvious would be that um, it's you. I, I'm, I'm the singer and the, and the lyricist in Incubus, and so uh, there is a way that I uh, have learned to do what I do over many, many years, and um, so that through line is there in Sons of the Sea. Uh, I'm sure to some people's uh, uh, happiness and some people's uh, sadness, <laughs> but uh, the, I think one of the Interesting differences, though, is the backdrop to which my uh, my singing and my, and my lyrics are falling in this sense. Brendan O'Brien is a very different kind of musician than um, I've ever worked with before. He's drawing from a very different set of influences, and he's referencing um, many, many different things that I've never really um, had the opportunity to write with before. So I think that it really has brought out some things in me as a songwriter that I never really knew were there. And um, I'm really actually excited about it because it's just I feel like I'm discovering new doors in an old house. And it's like, ooh, where does this room go? You know, that kind of thing. Do you ever have that dream? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've got on staircases that go nowhere. That's usually my dream. That one's kind of interesting, too. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's a recurring dream I've had most of my life where I'm wandering around my house. And it doesn't always look exactly like the house I live in, but I, I know it's my house. And uh, I, but in this dream, I, I find, uh, I see a door that I've never seen before. And I have an overwhelming urge to unlock it and see what's behind the door. And I go in and there's a room that I've never seen before. And it, the dream is always exciting and kind of um, uplifting and uh, sort of intellectually stimulating when I wake up because it's like I've found new doors in an old house. So that's really what Sons of the Sea feels like for me in many, many ways. Well, you've got three art books. You're very visual, and I was just curious, do the cities that you visit or the city that you live in, does that influence your songwriting or your art at all? Absolutely. Um, you know, where we are, as human beings, we're 
very much products of our environment. And so being aware of that growing up and, and into my adulthood, I've, I've done everything I can to indulge um, a pretty serious case of wanderlust. You know, I, I'm deeply, deeply inspired by the different environments that I go into. And it's a strange experience the way that I travel um, being a touring musician because I get these sort of like 24 to 36 hour snapshots of each city I go to. But I go to literally every city in the world. There's only a couple that I haven't been to, but I, I have been really, I feel very blessed to have that opportunity because every single place I've ever been to has something beautiful to offer. You just have to be kind of willing to, to see it, you know. And so I, I look, I put those kind of, I put those goggles on to find the beauty in even the most sort of like strange and or mundane places that I have the opportunity to visit. Well, we can't wait to have you back in San Diego. And then I can't let you go until I uh, ask you about future plans for Incubus. Incubus, yes. We, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of off in the wilds right now, which is really exciting for us as a band, especially having been a band for such a long time. Um, and when I say off in the wilds, I mean that we just, you know, we don't have a record label. We, uh, we are kind of like out of all of our sort of like businessy type alliances that we've had for many, many years. We're really just kind of like free and clear. And so in, at the moment, I feel like in many ways we're sort of basking in that newfound freedom and it feels really good and it's been really inspiring. So I think um, listeners can can probably count on hearing some, some new material um, probably in 2015 sometime and, and hopefully a tour as well. We'd love to come back to San Diego and, and play with you guys. We have a lot of fun down there. You know what I loved about the, the last record is that you took a, a warehouse in L.A. and turned it into this big interactive soundstage and you invited some of our listeners up there. You were very kind to do that, but I thought that was awesome. That was a lot of fun for us, too, and it was incredibly stressful, um, but really ultimately um, pretty seriously rewarding to to be able to have an experience like that and create a, a musical environment that hadn't been sort of tried before. So like I said, that, that create, it brought with it a lot of stress and anxiety, but I'm really glad that we have to, had the opportunity to do that, too. All right, Brandon, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see you uh, at the House of Blues. Right on, man. Thank you.